mechanisms, robotic mechanisms. This is a robot back here, a robotic machine that uh, takes pictures of rats and raccoons and birds who come to feed on a bird, on a, on a feeder. When they, um, when a bird or a raccoon eats, this wiggles and it makes a, uh, um, it makes a contact, electrical contact and takes pictures of whoever is eating. We do brainstorm hats, lots of contraptions that build it yourself. Okay, Emma, are we ready to go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, we're not yet. We're still waiting on a couple people. Okay. Um, we need to give it about five more minutes. I'm so sorry, everyone. Mm. We, uh, we're having problems with allowing more than 25 people to join our yeah. room. So let's go try to switch and um, let people know that we have agreed to do Great. Who in this group has done redstone? Anyone built anything in Minecraft with redstone? I haven't. Yup. What have yep. you built? What What did you build with redstone? Have you built like a piston door or an uh, I did a jump door once. A jump door, okay. Mr. Upside Down? <laughs> okay. Ah, great. That's what I built. All right. Where did you learn redstone? How did you learn how to do redstone? I, I got this book. Uh, well, that official Minecraft Redstone book thingy. There's a great series of Minecraft books. I uh, probably have the same book. Um, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, also, I also made, like, made one of those, like, uh, dispensers with the clock circuit. I can wow. just fire on its own. Uh, a Redstone dispenser. Those are good. You're you're an advanced Minecrafter. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, we're going to be focusing today on on architecture, <clears throat> building, um, uh, thinking like an architect. Give us a few minutes till everyone shifts into this room. Just people. That's a lot of people. Do we have any artists in the group? I draw. So I can hear you. I draw. Okay. Billy yourself is um, an integration of art and technology. So when we build robots or computer games or websites, we spend about half the time. Uh, on the on making our projects look cool and then the other half of the time we spend on making our projects work so at build it yourself when you build something number one it has to solve a problem and number two it has to look way cool i do all that stuff i'm sorry i do, do all that stuff how do we build all this stuff? No, I do. Oh. I do 
that stuff. I love building with Legos and I love programming and art. Oh, fantastic. So you like, you're, you're like Leonardo da Vinci, huh? You do it all. <laughs> That's great. Let me show you a couple of uh, other projects we have. We have a project that Billy yourself, when you first start, we yeah, encourage you to get into the new room, I think. Are we all set, Emma, or? Oh. They went. John, this is Bing. Feel free to start. Okay, great. Um, Brent, do you like to take it away? Uh, yes, let me share. All right, and welcome to the Build It Yourself Laboratory. I'm John, I'm the chief engineer. And my favorite, uh, my favorite thing to do is to, is to build. I like to build anything. I'm an electrical engineer out of Cornell. Brent? Hi, I'm Brent. I'm the technical director at Build It Yourself. I like to create things that are related to multimedia, like 3D animation, uh, graphic design, and pretty much anything I can build on a computer. Great. And Vincent, say hello hey to guys. everyone. Hey guys, I'm Vincent. I'm the uh, architecture and design specialist uh, here at my. And um, I enjoy drawing, uh, reading comics in my spare time, and I'm studying architecture and design at a Cornell AAP School of Art, Architecture, and Planning. Great. Okay, Brent. All right. So let's introduce you guys to some Minecraft projects. So this summer, um, there's going to be, I believe yourself, we have four different Minecraft projects, um, each kind of increasing in difficulty. And we're going to be running these this summer with LHG. So feel free to reach out to them for the schedule. So at Minecraft 101, which is what we're going to be focusing on today, we work on structures and designs. We think about the architectural principles, um, how to build some really cool things aesthetically. Um, then once you graduate from 101, you go to 102, where you become an engineer. So you learn the basics of electrical engineering and of logic design. Um, so we'll basically introduce like simple logic gates and create um, simple circuits. And then we go on to 103, where you become an extreme redstone engineer. You say you'll actually build like, digital logic circuits, including like timers, um, music machines. Um, you'll learn concepts of engineering and then when you graduate 103 you go to 104 and on 104 we actually teach you how to create your own minecraft world and you'll learn some of the commands and the tools we use to manage our server all right um, and at build it yourself we always have a problem and a mission so today with us focusing on 101 we have a big problem so we have a group of we're of uh, hotshot builders, we're ambitious thinkers, but we lived in a land controlled by nap brain pigeon gut weasels. Basically people who don't really care for creativity, culture, and inventions. So our mission, we're gonna migrate to our own world. And we're gonna build a utopian society. We're gonna build some amazing culture, some art, some contraptions that just are awe-inspiring. And at the center of this utopian society, we wanna have a amazing laboratory that just wants that basically attracts the attention of you know the brightest and smartest builders and inventors in the universe in order to do this we have um, some measures of success so i build it yourself when we build we make things 20 blocks tall roughly we size our builds appropriately we use five or more materials and we use unique shapes so let's um, show you guys the world that we're gonna be building in, and then we'll explain what we do for the rest of the 101 series and teach you guys how to build. And anyone who isn't in Minecraft realms yet, didn't get an invite or is having trouble signing up, we'll help you guys once we get the others building. Okay, so I'm gonna share in what's called fluency mode, so I'm gonna stop sharing for a second so you guys can see my screen refresh a little faster. So 
our utopian society has barren land for us to develop. Um, we have a small, um, a small capital part of the city and headquarters, a cool hall of fame, a jail for evildoers, and a redstone museum for anyone who wants to learn some more complicated circuit design. So once we get in, I'm gonna show you guys this and then we'll um, talk a little bit about the projects we'll be doing. Realms can sometimes take like a minute to get in. So if you see it hang up for like a second, don't worry when you're logging in, just give it a moment and you'll get in, no problem. All right, so this is where you'll spawn. Um, this beautiful structure you see is our headquarters. Inside of headquarters, we have teleporters that will bring you to different land plots. So everyone will get to build on land plots um, in our webcast series and summer camps. During the demo, um, we, if we have like three different worlds set up right now. Um, so we'll invite you to different worlds, but in the workshops you'll be building together. Um, it's beautifully landscaped. Behind headquarters, we have a bedrock jail. Um, if you destroy anything, if you grief other players and cause mischief instead of um, creativity, if you're not inspiring others, but you're destroying, you'll wind up in here on survival mode. And good luck getting out. No one enjoys being stuck in the jail. Then over here, we have a Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is reserved for the coolest builds. And most of them are built by kids like you guys. Like this parrot was created by two members who are building together during one of our workshops. If you look at it, it's really cool, uh, curvy, multiple materials, fairly tall, but not too tall. And you know where it is from a distance. Then we have our Sphinx. The Sphinx has a whole underground lair. Some statues. If you look at this minion, it has some really cool slit curves, really unique shapes. And this SpongeBob statue actually has a hidden surprise a swimming pool, and an entire interior that you can go through and explore. His eyes are actually windows, and the entrance is his leg. And now, since we migrated from the land of the wicked weasels, the um, nap brain people who just we couldn't get along with, we have this new land, but the problem is our land has nothing on it. So we have to develop this, you know. So everyone will get to choose a build plot. Let's switch back over to the PowerPoint. And actually, let's pause there for a moment. I think everyone's muted. What do you guys think about our world? Is it pretty cool? Thumbs up? All right. It's cool. All right, awesome. Cool. Nice, nice. Now, we want you guys to make it more awesome. Now, we're going to challenge you to build some cool stuff. All right, so for the 101 workshop series, oh, uh, I, I didn't share with um, Clarity. One sec. Okay, so the first thing that we build is gonna be an entranceway. That's what we're gonna work on today. Um, entranceways are really important because it's the first impression. Then we work on landscaping because we need to create some really cool, uh, like green spaces. And if you don't bring nature into your build, they can be pretty boring and stale. Then we have monuments. So monuments aren't specifically, like they could be towers, they could be statues, or there's you know, many other kinds of monuments. Like we've seen people build fountains or uh, pyramids. Um, so this can be quite unique, um, but build a monument that represents your civilization, that represents our culture. Then we get into floor plans, where we actually plan out um, how we're gonna create our laboratory. We teach you some architectural principles and then we'll actually construct that laboratory. So I'm just gonna show you a few quick examples and I'm gonna pass the ball over to Vincent, who's our resident architect that can help show some cool building techniques. So here's some you know, really beautiful architecture. Uh, we have three different entranceways. 
I'm curious, which ones do you guys think is the, the coolest looking one here? Um, the first. The first one? Well, I think the first one will take pretty too long to build. Ah, uh, that's a good point, but if you build it smaller versus like being as tall, that's a really, really good way of thinking. You know, how long do I have to build before you start building? And then you plan your build based on that. It's good I thing. think the second one is the best. Nice. No one likes the third one? I like I like the first one because it's sort of like, and I study French, so it's in from Paris, so. All right. Smart you are. The arc is for you. The third one is the most technologically advanced. Therefore, I like it the most. Yeah, it is the most technologically simple. Therefore, the most advanced. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm definitely entitled to the opinion. And like in Minecraft, you can actually make moving doors too, which is um, cool. But, you know, most people, um, not all people, but most people will like these two more. So we want you to think about that when you design your entranceways. We want you to be inspired by beautiful architecture and your own creativity. And don't leave things like a basic cube. Um, then in Minecraft, check out these entranceways. They look 3D. They have a lot of texture and depth. Um, the dragon on the end is pretty tough to build, but really impressive. But even though the ones in the middle, uh, the middle one isn't as big, or even the one that we showed first isn't super big, it's still really beautiful. And then we have this. So if you want to show off your build, um, try to be inspired by unique shapes, multiple materials, and um, don't create um, you know what anyone could build because anyone could build this in a few minutes even if it's their first time playing so yeah and Vincent's gonna show you some cool techniques uh, Vincent are you ready if I pass you the ball sure let me just hop on your own server here sounds good uh, while you're uh, booting up there um, what do you guys like about these builds anything that stands out to you that makes them look really cool I like the dragon Nice. It's bizarre and exotic, right? Not not usual. I kind of like the gate. The gate that um, it looks like it's actually like a castle gate. Yeah. Yeah. Well thought out, right? They um, and you, you can see it, it's pretty big, but it's not super big because even just glancing. Now this might be 30 well, blocks tall. Well, it could be, it will, it will be, the gate will be a good choice if you're building a, med, a medieval build. Mm -hmm. Your builds, yeah. good, good thinking. I like the second one. All right. I, I like the, I like the second one. It kind of looks like a, Kind of looks like a rainbow, but it's not really a rainbow. It's kind of like a. I can I ask a question? Uh, sure. Um, our daughter is using the mobile app. Would uh, would she be able to do that on 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 a, on, on that uh, application, or does she have to go to the, a specific world, or how does that work? Uh, so with um, we'll explain the details shortly, but we use the Java edition of Minecraft because you can use it on Linux, on Windows, and on Mac. And right. then it also, um, so it's not the same as like the mobile edition or console. You can still build with those editions. You just can't join the server. Um, okay. Yeah. So if you don't have a Java account right now, it's um you can still build locally, okay. and then um, we can help you get one for the workshop series. All right. Great. Thank you very much. Well, well, I I play on Bedrock Edition. Right, and I saw some people saying they don't have invites yet. So we're going to take care of that shortly. But I invited only a few people that submitted the username before the workshop. But once we get everyone building, and um, after the demo, we'll help you guys get into the realm. So no worries. We got you guys covered. Friends, I, I, can, I uh, do get an invite, too. Dude. Me either. I can go ahead and start a screen sharing. I'll go, go for ahead. it. All right, everyone with me? Yes. 
Cool. Yeah. I've spawned in someone else's build. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to do a quick little thing um, right here in front. And I can pull it away after, uh, delete it afterwards. But a few big things uh, to remember when you're building, especially when you're building um, for the first time. You're going to want to start very simply. And what I mean by that is use maybe one material at first and then move up to four or five. I know some of you guys are advanced builders and you're going to be like, oh, this is, you know, this is, this is easy. This is light work. This is totally stuff you can do, but um, bear with me. And what you're going to want to do is lay out <clears throat> a very simple foundation your entrance. Generally, at first, if you want to try to uh, follow a geometric, uh, geometric structure or pattern, that will also make it more simple. So if you're building an entrance and you want to get some crazy designs and some zany shapes in there, that's totally cool too. But at first, you know, it might be easier to mimic a simple shape or a, or a more simple structure when you're beginning. Hey, there you go. I kind of wish I had Java Edition. Oh yeah. Um, just, so right after just because it has the whole 1.16 thing and Bedrock doesn't. Uh, right. So right after right after this, we can um, we can help you out with any any uh, tech, technical problems that you guys are having uh, on uh, on that front. Bedrock is awesome, huh? Who said that? Me. Grant. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get that uh, sorted for you. But, um, so you're going to want to start off with some simple geometric shapes. And then from there, you can sort of um, conceptualize those into your own design. So here I sort of have a very basic triangle. And I can think, all right, how can I make this into my entrance? Now, in a normal architectural process, there are a lot of diagrams, a lot of planning, um, a whole bunch of measurement going into this. But for the sake of this demonstration, we can just work sort of on with this material here. Maybe <clears throat> I see, well, if I make this bigger for my full entrance, I think that this triangle, I take this piece away and sort of expand these sides out here. It'd be a perfect method to build a really cool doorway. If I take these walls up a little bit. <clears throat> Simple forms will begin to reveal more complex structure. And already you sort of got something that looks somewhat like a more advanced entrance way. Do you guys want to know a Minecraft fact? Yeah, sure. Endermen can spawn all in every single dimension. Oh, really? Not just the mm -hmm. end. They can spawn in the overworld and the nether. I didn't know that. I didn't know they could, uh, they could spawn in the nether. I'm, I'm here from Well, that's the, uh, true, but, the, but they're really, really rare in the nether. Wow, I've okay. seen them a couple of times in the nether. Oh, so you're really interested in that. And I thought it was funny watching the Endermen in the rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep teleporting around, but they're still getting hit by the water. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Here from the um, really old Minecraft days where we, uh, we didn't have all the stuff like you. Back when, back when we had the the Nether Core and other stuff. Oh yeah, even before that, before there was even um, I remember before there was even food. Okay, like original, before the original, only original food source was pork chops. Sure. 
So you can see here how I took the shape of that basic triangle, right? And up at the top, you can see that this even sort of still looks like the base of a very simple geometric shape that I was just um, making on the floor at first. But now I've sort of converted it into something that looks much more like an awesome entrance or archway. Now I can take a step back and say, hey, maybe I want to throw together some more um, complex materials in here. Let's see what would look nice. Anyone have any suggestions? Oh. All right, I'm going to go for some Make something pink. What's that? What's that? I vote for making something pink. Pink? OK. I have, a, I have another Minecraft fact. You can't, you can't grind off Curse of Vanishing. Oh, is that a, uh, is that an enchantment? Yeah, but it, but but you can't grind it off. Really? See, so I that's the whole. When I played. That's the whole curse thing, part of it. You can't get rid of it. Oh, I see. I see. Un unless if so you. So remember. Phone, unless if you phone in but, lava. Oh, I don't want to do that. Lose my item, huh? Anyway, so here you can see how I'm using very simple shapes. Again, and this is just a quick and easy layering process. And already I've got a very interesting looking entrance here. Now maybe I want to connect at the top, like sort of archway, you know? Maybe I don't. Maybe I will expand it into a dome. This sort of stuff will be up to you. But just remember, building from these really simple geometric shapes can result in some really cool and complicated structures that are quick and easy to build. Once you start establishing more of an architectural form to your piece, you're going to be able to add more blocks, more decorative elements. And before you know it, you're going to be building, you guys are going to be the Minecraft um, Frederick Law Homesteads, man. <laughs> Any of you guys know that? That's the guy who built Central Park. Or we could be, or we could be like Greens. You guys don't know what that is. What's that? It's like a Minecraft YouTuber that's very, very good at building. Oh really? Is he? Uh, is he? Does, or do they focus on architecture? He likes to put detail into his Minecraft build. Oh, I see. He has his own YouTube channel. Cool, cool. So anyway, see, I have something crooked here, which I can go back and revisit. But I just remember those sort of simple steps. You can start with some simple shapes. <clears throat> you build a quick, and then you can even blow that up, build that simple shape larger, and make a huge, impressive archway out of just some really easy elements. You could time. say you could say it's crooked, or you could say it's overlapping. Yes, that's true. And you know, some some really good architectures actually. Um, some of the most interesting stuff is very crooked and um, non-symmetrical. Super cool. Like Tower of Pisa. Um, sorry. Anyway, okay. Now let's see. I think I want to add some diamond here. Who doesn't like diamond, right, guys? Let's get a floor of diamond. Cool, cool fact about diamonds: you can't you can't mine diamonds with wooden or stone. You have to you have to mine with iron, gold, or diamond. Well, you're a Minecraft encyclopedia. I know. <laughs> Boy. And remember to try to get my build isn't quite that big, but remember to try to get your build at least you know. 20 blocks high, and that way, the wider you get, you can also start experimenting with um, geometric forms that aren't squares or cubes, like uh, Brett showed us on the uh, minion uh, in the Hall of Fame. You can make cylindrical shapes, you can make spheres, all that sort of cool stuff. Yeah, maybe one more block, and then I think that pretty much wraps it up. 
make some of these wood planks that look nice. Let's see. Yeah, this orange will look really nice with this blue and this uh, pink here. Here we go, yeah. So see, I've got a sort of a semblance of a archway going on, and maybe I'll add some more decorative elements to it later, but uh, that about wraps it up for me, guys. Awesome. All right, so let's get you guys into Minecraft to give you guys a chance to start building, and we're going to help out those who are having issues. So let's, uh, first I'll show you guys the way to accept the, uh, the Realms invite. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Okay. So in Minecraft, um, once you go, you know, log in and you're, you have to be on the latest version of Minecraft, which it should be by default. If you're not on the latest, it probably means you're a Minecraft pro and you've been just playing on different servers. So just choose latest release if you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you should be all set with that setup. Um, then you want to click on play. Um, so after you log in, you play. And when you wind up on realms, because I see a lot of people saying they don't see a realms invite or they don't have an invite. Um, you need to be on the Java edition to get an invite. Um, if you send us your username, like I've invited um, these players so far to our realm. So if you have any of the, if this username, any of these usernames are yours, the way you accept the invite, and this will be true for everyone once we invite you, you go up here to this little icon next to the word Minecraft, but this is in your realms menu. Realms click this little icon and any pendant invites will be here. So you should see one from us for demo, build it yourself, realm two, three, or four. Um, we can have 10 people per realm. So when I invited Rin Vincent into each room, so there's gonna be nine people per room and you should simply just see that. And if you just sign up for Minecraft, it should be the only invite. Um, if you play a lot, um, just you'll see the name and be able to filter through it. Um, so anyone that does have an invite, please check that now. And for those of you who don't, uh, you know, have a Minecraft account, Emma, would it be helpful if I kind of walk quick how to get an account and... Uh, Brian, I cannot hear you right now. I don't have the right edition, the right version of Minecraft. Brian? Yeah. You guys can't hear me. Um, one, two, three. Okay, now I can hear you. Oh, okay. sorry, my internet must have cut out for a second. Um, would it be helpful if I show us this, uh, like where to, how to get Craft Java Edition? Yes. Say yes. 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 Okay. That will be helpful. All right. Let's do that. Someone that doesn't have the Java Edition. Bedrock, the one phone. I know, do have bedrock. For the demo, uh, you could use that, but you just can't. Remember, we can see what you're doing unless you share Zoom. If you want, you know, definitely sure, or you feel really in it, you only pay for Minecraft once and you are for life. So it's a worthwhile investment, even if, you know, I, I think it's a really fun game. And the, the Java edition lets you have access to like mods and everything later on too, if you get advanced. So it's a fun, a fun version of it. I see some usernames in the, um, in the chat. So I'm gonna start adding you guys in um, just real quick. And then I will, let's see. After I invite a few people, I'm gonna demo um, the process of getting, getting Minecraft. Steam. I'm stuck in the ground. I'm inside the realm. Oh, if you're stuck in the ground, just look up and hit, like, you know, break block if that happens. Um, okay, I think I see the latest usernames. So I'm going to invite, you'll see as I invite you. Um, okay, that player, this one might not be um, Steam Teacher 4, might not be a um, Java edition. So check if you have whoever's user this is. 
just check if you have Java Edition or if you have like a different version of Minecraft. Um, oh, I have a different version of Minecraft. I don't have Java yet. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Uh, we'll show you that. And then um, even if you don't get it today, you can still follow along with the exercises um, locally. So how do you get Java? That's what I'm asking too. All right. I got you guys. Um, give me a moment. I think I got one more person to invite. Okay, there's a few coming in. Let me just invite these players real quick. Invite. Okay, invite next player. Okay, um, Grantsterd, I think that you might not have the job edition, so check that out. I'll come back to that username. Okay. Sushi for life, nom nom. I like that. Okay, that one's not going through. Let's see. And we'll troubleshoot. Anyone who can't get in right away, we're going to troubleshoot your, your connection. Okay, so real quick, um, I'm just going to stop sharing for a second. I'm going to pull up a PowerPoint that explains step by step how to get Java Edition. And I'll show you guys at the same time, like on the website. Actually, let me share my screen and show you guys where you can download this too. So in case um, your, your, your parents are in the background, they can see this too, where to get this. So on our website, um, buildityourself.com, um, under our missions and computer missions, we have Minecraft and we have a Minecraft pre-workshop guide. I think this was sent out to you guys uh, like probably last week. And this has screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions. So the first thing is, you know, Java Edition costs 35 USD as of, you know, this month. Of last time I looked at it this month. And it's a specific version, like we mentioned. If you don't have Java Edition, you can still play Minecraft. You just can't play on our server. Uh, so in this PowerPoint, there's a link to Minecraft into how to get the Java Edition specifically. So we can send this back around um, to make sure everyone has a copy of this. And basically the process after you click the link is you just click buy Minecraft, register for a Mojang account, verify the email, purchase the license for the game. Then you can download the installer and install the game. All right, so with that, um, I'm gonna show you guys when I follow this link where I go. So I does everyone chat. follow the steps? I'll put this in the chat box. Um, and I saw someone say they bought it on iPad. So if you buy it, actually in this guide, it tells you if you bought the wrong version for the workshops, um, this, you can contact Mojang support and they're, from what I've read, pretty good about refunding the money and helping you get the correct version. Right. Oh, and it uh, looks like the price fluctuated. Maybe it's um, with Memorial Day and stuff. The price might vary. Um, yeah, so when you go to that link, you'll wind up here, and you just want to click on Buy Minecraft. And from here, it's basically the same as checking out for, like, almost any e-commerce platform. You just sign up, um, register an account, and then you make a purchase for the account. Uh, so I'll put in an email that I don't use for Minecraft, just to kind of walk you guys through this a little further. Right, then I'll get a notification to my inbox. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm dual screening, so I'm just pulling up my Gmail on my other monitor. And then I'll have a small verification code. It's like a few digits.
So anyone who did get into the realm, just go into headquarters, step on a pressure plate inside of headquarters, and you'll teleport. If nobody else is on that build plot, feel free to start building. Um, this world is set up specifically for the demo, so you can't destroy like anyone else's stuff by accident from another class. Um, all right, so after I verify my email, I can then log in. And once I log in, I can then actually purchase it. Um, you can create the, I believe this is the username um, for Minecraft. And then um, just fill in your credit card info and everything. Um, and then just kind of make sure you purchase and complete. Um, and the other thing is make sure that it should be on Java, but like on the final checkout, I believe you can double check that's the Java edition on the purchase page. But as long as you start there, I think that should be the account again. Um, and then also there was a parent that asked us about demo account, like a, a trial account. So I tried that out to see what it was about. And just for everyone's reference, if you see there's like a, a free trial, the free trial doesn't actually let you join a realm server. It doesn't even let you create your own world. It gives you 100 minutes of gameplay that after you're done, I don't even think it saves the world. There's no multiplayer aspect at all to the trial. And I think the trial by design is just so you can test your computer out with Minecraft, make sure it works before you buy it. And um, you know, that it doesn't slow your computer down too much. So you can ignore the trial because it's not necessarily gonna help us out. Uh, just in case anyone comes across that. All right, so with that, um, I think, yeah, in chat box, I can put this file. So let me stop sharing for a moment so you guys can get to chat easy. And I'm gonna send the PowerPoint inside the chat box to you guys. So just give me a moment. Actually, I'll put the link to the PowerPoint rather than the whole PowerPoint. Um, should probably download faster. We asked our mom if we could download that to buy it, but we're not allowed to. Oh, to get it? Sir. Sure. All right. Um, so if your parents don't um, want you to have the Java edition, if you do have Minecraft, or if it was a security thing, your parents would know the password, most likely, to get past it, uh, to install it. If it was a matter of like them saying that you already have a version of Minecraft, you can still build in the other versions. It's just you won't be able to play with the other kids in class. You'll play on your own computer, and then you can share what you're building via Zoom, the same way I share my screen. So it's not a total um, stopper of being able to play with us uh, and build with us. It's just a matter of um, you won't be able to like collaborate with other people in the actual server. Um, that you can still get feedback on your designs, and you can still get advice or help with controls and stuff like that. So it's still okay. Just might be a little, the teamwork aspect would be a little more challenging to play with others. All right, I see some usernames in the chat. So I, I put the the work, the work guide to get Minecraft in the chat box. Um, parents, if you're out there going to look for that guide, as people you know respond to stuff in chat, it's gonna get pushed up. So just scroll up till you see the link if it gets moved up and I'll, I'll paste it in there again. I see a few more usernames. So I'm gonna invite, I'll share my screen while I do this so you guys can see as I invite people. Um, Excuse me, um, how do you do a flat world? Um, so flat world, um, when you join our server, you won't be able to. But in Minecraft in general, if you go to single player, you can create a flat world. There's, um, in the setup, if you, I think you can like tab advanced or something, you can see like options. And one of the drop downs, you can find flat world to create a world. Oh. But when you join the realm, you'll join our world. So oh, let me see, I know there's a few more usernames. Oh. Let me check those out. Okay. I got this sushi for life. So sushi for life, um, nom nom, iron. Um, I tried your username. And it didn't take it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, are you sure that you're on the Java edition of Minecraft? Hmm. All right. Um, is there any typos? 
Double check your user. Um, one letter wrong should actually mess this up. Okay, and while you double check that, I'm just going to scroll up to see if there's anyone else. Um. <laughs> All right, I see someone that says, am I supposed to press play? Um, yeah, after you get into Minecraft, like when you log in, you can click play, and then you'll see a realms option. If you click on realms and we invited you, you should see the invite. Um, let's see. Uh, it's making me certify mom. Oh, like verify the account. I'll be right back. Okay. No worries. Okay, and I'm going to try, let's see, we have, I think, eight people in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and... Excuse me, um, oh, we go into settings and then we do what? Okay, so when you want to, I mean, um, I'll go back to the title screen. Have you gotten to this point? Yeah. Okay, so you want to click on Minecraft Realms. And after you click on Realms, it's the third option down, um, there's a little icon next to the word Minecraft. So this is an icon where if you click it, it will show you if you have any invitations to a realm. You accept the invitation, then click Done. And then you'll be able to come back to this menu and see the realms. Okay, I see a few more username so let me try to get you guys in i i'm asking about the flat world <laughs> all right well we can try to get that at the end let's make sure we can get everyone synchronized on the realm itself okay okay grant start you're in um you got an invite tnt cannons um Try um, with TNT, make sure if you do anything with TNT, uh, we prefer if you stay away from TNT, but if you have a cannon, make sure you're not accidentally blowing up the other people's build sites because that's considered like destruction of their stuff. So just be really cautious on how you aim it. Pick a build plot, aim it out into the abyss uh, with nothing behind it, and then aim your TNT cannon with the void. Yeah. Um, that would be like, I think the safest way you could try that. Um, but if you mess up, mess it up the TNT cannon, it would just explode. You don't want your aim that so messed up. Well, yeah, it will blow up your plot. But I mean, like, if you aim it the wrong way, or you, it goes a lot farther than you think because you made it really good. Um, I've seen TNT cannons go from one plot to another in the past. Um, Bryce M, you're already invited, so check that icon out. And Toby Edward Carroll, twelve. All right. I'm going to right now. Okay, you're invited. I think that's the max on this particular realm. So I'm going to go to the second realm. So everybody else will get into our realm three, should be the label. Demo itself, realm three. Um, Vincent, you're in all these. So if you ever want to switch in between them and stuff, um, feel free. Cool. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to look up and see if I missed anyone. Um, Sushi for Life, I'm going to try to add you again. Um, I know that you said you had to certify the account. So let me see if you're in yet. Okay, not yet. All right. Okay, new messages. Okay. Um, Wesley, I'm going to add you into, you're going to be the first one in the new world. So don't feel lonely. Um, others will be in there soon. Okay, so you're the first invite in um, the second demo realm, realm three for BIY. Okay, and see Lewis. I'm gonna add a new one right now. Okay. Um, you're added into the second realm as well for the demo. 
and parents, um, anyone have any trouble getting Minecraft or following the PowerPoint? Okay, I'll assume that silence is everything's going okay. <laughs> and don't forget, I got two aliens on each side of me that can help too. Waiting for the download. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. We're just going to um, wait for this time and for the next class we'll have an install because I don't want to, you know, take her away from the class to install the Java on the, on the computer. Uh, so sounds good. Appreciate that. Thank yeah, you. And if you need any help, just uh, let LHG know and uh, we have some guides and videos and stuff to help out and then we can always um, help you get it if um, any issues. All right, so what I'm gonna do for a few minutes, I'm just gonna jump into the second realm. And I'm just gonna, while I'm sharing my screen, I'm just gonna build an entrance way. Um, realm. Okay. And I'll keep my eye on chat. Um, if anyone adds a username to chat and I miss it, just give me a heads up and I will add you right away. And again, if you have like pocket edition or you have like a console version or something already installed, um, you need to figure out how to get a refund from Mojang or you're gonna get Java for next time, still feel free to follow along locally on your own um, console or device. And yeah, just let us know if you guys need any help. We'll fly around um, in a few minutes too to check out what people are building. I've already seen a couple good looking uh, archways. Nice. Actually, you know, maybe instead of even building anything, let me disconnect from this realm. I'm gonna go into the one you're in and sure. let's check out some of these builds. I'm excited. I'll swap, I'll swap over to three while you're here, Brett. All right. Check out those ones. I spawned inside of a box. <laughs> That's been <laughs> my bad. <laughs> let me let me put that back. That doesn't count as grief. If you wake up somewhere, um, I think that was the last place I was before I. Uh, <laughs> I guess I found one of those builds right away. Looking really cool. I'm done. I like that though it's rectangular, it's not just a rectangle. It has a lot of different geometry. There's multiple materials, even though it's quartz, it's um like there's the pillar, like the striped kind, there's the regular smooth quartz, there's um slabs and um stairs. So it's coming out really cool. Can't wait to see how it evolves. This is a really good example of um, some subtle design elements that you have that really strengthen the whole overall um, composition of the build here, Ignatus. I'm using your Minecraft name because I'm not sure who you are. <clears throat> I feel like they might be someone who used Reddit. <laughs> Just a hunch. Let me teleport. Let's see who else is here. Oh, hi, Brent. I think Aaron just to buy a new account. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'll be right back into this room to check it out. But I'm gonna invite you in first. It's still saying for some reason, Aaron, that your account isn't accepting it. Made a new account and it's both solution for life. Oh, no. oh the okay, it has a oh. Um, let me just try. 
Okay, just in case that was a typo. Um, all right, so Heather and Aaron, I see your, your messages. Um, Aaron, I know you've been trying to get in. Let me stop sharing my screen. And in Zoom, you can move your mouse over, like, while I'm talking, you'll probably see my face. If you move your mouse down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see, like, a green icon in the center of where the video feed is. And if you click on that, you can share your desktop. And we can try and double check if um, there's anything like that stands out. My iPad. Oh, uh, okay. iPad doesn't have the Java edition. So on iPad, it's I think the Bedrock edition. Um, it's a different type of Minecraft. So you won't be able to join in the server. So I'll put a link to a guide in the chat that um, if your parents are around, you can um, ask them to follow this guide real quick. And if not, um, we're going to email out this guide again to help everyone out. Um, so I'm going to put this in the chat. And this, this shows step by step with screenshots and links and everything, how to get Minecraft, the Java edition. Copy it. All right. So that link, if you click it, it will download a PowerPoint. Um, you can even just have that ready for them if they were tied up. Um, and then when they get a chance, they can take a look at it. And then again, reach out to us and LHG for support. Um, and then Heather, um, 0122 Heather. Um, so you purchased the game, but you can't figure out the license. If you'd like to share, we, we can try and help you out. Um, what kind of device are you playing on? Is it a computer or like phone, console? Well, <laughs> I'm playing on a king. Oh, can you say again? Mac I'm on a Kindle. Kindle. Is like a tablet. No, wait, a Kindle. On a Kindle. Okay, uh, so Kindle is probably not the. I don't think they have Java edition on Kindle. Um, so this is gonna sound confusing, but basically, like mobile devices have a different kind of brain, a different processor than like the laptops and desktops. Because of that different like brain, they have to write the programs in different languages. So it's almost like people that can um, speak different languages, they don't understand each other. So the Java edition can't run on uh, mobile devices unless it's like a, like a Microsoft Surface or something like that, which is like kind of like a laptop still. So that's a little confusing, but the guide in the, in the chat box will explain like how to get the right version. And for this workshop series, you'll need like a regular laptop or like a desktop or something like that. Um, if your parents have questions, let us know. We can explain better. I don't want to go too low level with uh, technology, but um, if you plug a USB keyboard into it or it has a monitor that you plug into, it's probably okay. If it has a screen and no keyboard and you can walk around with it, there's a good chance it might be mobile edition. Hey Brent, I got a uh, request uh, here to share the share my screen doing Minecraft while you're helping the students. That's fine. Oh yeah, go for it. Go for it. Okay. Right. Oh, wait. Okay, see you soon. At first, when you shared your screen, I was like, "Whoa, Vincent, you already built that all the museum." <laughs> yeah, you know, it was just light work. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, so any um, anyone that's still having trouble um, getting in, just remember you can reach out to us. We have that, that guide in the chat box. Um, I'm gonna put that to make sure it's like in the chat, kind of low, um, so it's easy to get access to it. MacBook. Okay, MacBook should be perfect. Um, so I don't think MacBook has released anything with a mobile processor yet. I think that's the talks, but it should be good. Um, if you want, you can double check the model, but if you um, if you follow that guide, um, there will be an option to, when you buy the license, as a Mac installer too, so um, let me just, yeah, on Mac it should be perfect. I'm gonna put that guide back in the, I know it's in there a bunch of times, I'm just trying to keep it near the bottom of chat. I mean, Iron, yeah, definitely build, definitely build. Um, you know, 
exercise. What I've learned in um, life, the first time you do something, it's time and it's challenging. And then when you practice those skills over and over again, you get faster and better. So even if you get like the um, the Java edition for next week or whenever we start the series, um, if you build an entranceway a second time, I bet you build it twice as fast and twice as good. Just like riding a bike. Fun, Easy fun tracks. I never learned how to ride a bike, guys. Oh, no way. No, yep, I don't. Um, I got my license before doing that. Um, I learned how to ride a skateboard. Um, fairly okay, not doing tricks on it. Rollerblade and stuff, but a bike was just something I never got into. Oh, man. I'm the opposite, friend. I still don't have my license. <laughs> I ride my bike everywhere. It's not ruining my example, man. Um, <laughs> so I know um, we got a late start. So Emma, we can run um, as late as you know. You guys tell us you need. So you know we can fly around, check things out, um, help kids build a little bit. Uh, but whenever you want to cut off and you know do any other like conclusions and stuff, just let us know. Sure. Thank you. Um, yeah, so like with this type of stuff, guys, with 101, um, just kind of getting into like good design businesses is really cool. And um, even if you think like, oh, it's easy to build, if you challenge yourself to build designs, um, research color palettes, and um, just kind of think how things look together, um, this type of design will help you everywhere. Um, like I do a lot of computer work um, with um, 3D graphics, with graphic designs, and so forth. So, oh, and, um, okay. Um, really, whatever I learned in one from art has helped in other parts of art and design. Um, and a good example of that is like I took a face painting class with my wife. Like she does face paint, and, like costume design and stuff. And there was a a face painter who these created everything that you see at the Disney theme parks. In his class, I learned a lot about shading and color, and I brought that into my computer designs with graphics, um, 2D graphics. So if you guys learn some really cool principles in Minecraft, the Lego building will improve, what you make, like it doesn't matter, with Play-Doh and Roblox. Um, if you have any craft projects or you know graphics projects you do, your, the quality of your designs will improve everywhere. Um, it's really cool to watch it happen. All right, so Don, I see it changed, but that's my mom's thing. Okay. Can you fly around and look for, or Vincent, fly around and uh, let's look for some some of the guys who are uh, uh, have their bills going pretty well and sure. then, uh, critique them, ask them to present their ideas. What inspired their art? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. There's only two people on this server, John. I think they just started building stuff. So I'll on to the other server real quick. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find some Hall of Fame examples. For sure. Mm -hmm. Anyone like to show off their entranceway? Just no. holler, and we'll okay. we'll put you up on the big screen. I'll teleport over to you. Let's start. Man, oh, this looks awesome. Who did this? Who's building this? Um, what's your name? What's your name in the Zoom room? Can you uh, tell us what inspired this? Okay. I believe. Hi, John. Yeah. May I interrupt? Uh, may I have something to share with parents and kids? And could we uh, let Meg share first, and then we come back for this? Sure. 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 Go ahead. Thank you.
Hi, everyone. Am I able to share my screen? Um, let me... I'll go for it. Okay, great. Um, let's see. Can you see it? Uh, not yet. No? Can you see me? Uh, no. Okay. Now, yes. hi everyone. Thank you so much for attending. I just wanted to share with you about our next class and options to attend that class. So let me see here. Um, I'm trying to share my screen and it is not working. <laughs> it's initializing. Okay, it's there. Uh, the PowerPoint's up. Oh, great. Um, I just wanted to let any parents know if they're interested in purchasing this course. Um, you could scroll down to the, there we go. Um, if you're interested in, in purchasing this course, we are going to start next week on June 2nd and have classes. The first week for three days, second week for three days, and then the third week we'll have two days. Um, and our price for that single session course is $249. And we also offer three and four sessions of Minecraft. So if you want to continue on to two sessions, it's $449 and that would run until July 8th and so on. Um, if you scroll down again, <laughs> this is the contact information if you are interested in continuing these classes and attending them. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for showing up. Uh, we really appreciated your company and hope to see you next time. Would you mind leaving the contact information up just for parents to be able to see? We will also be giving out a coupon to everyone that has participated, to three lucky people um, to get a discount on our course. So check your emails after this because you might be able to get some money off. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Do I shut down? Mm -hmm.